Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. This is a portable screen, and with it, I can do something pretty awesome. I'm watching a movie in bed. Hey guys, it's Sam. This is The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we're talking about a new portable display. In fact, the largest portable display currently on the market. We first saw this product at the NFB conference, and in fact, I featured it in my highlights video. Hi, my name's Alex Wesley. I'm the CEO of Aerobia. I started this company because I was traveling all over the world and I needed a big screen for work and entertainment and I wanted to give everyone the freedom to do more in more places. At the time, I thought it was super cool and I'm very excited to have one now so I can try it out in a ton of different situations and tell you guys about it. So this is Splay. S-P-L-A-Y. Splay is a two-in-one product. So as I mentioned, it's a portable display, but you can also take the shroud off, the display part off, and then it becomes a short throw projector, which will project an image up to 80 inches. Display is the largest portable display currently on the market, coming in at a whopping 24 inches. For a portable display that fits in a tiny case like this, that's kind of crazy. The resolution is full HD quality at 1920 by 1080. The unit has a built-in battery that lasts about four hours and the total weight of everything is just about two and a half pounds. And here is Splay. <laughs> I'm knocking stuff down. It's so big I'm knocking everything over here on my, uh, my desk. Taking a quick look around the unit here. As I mentioned, this is a ultra short throw projector. And in fact, when you have the, the shroud or the screen on, it projects the image on the rear of the screen. And this material is super special. There's a lot going on with this machine here. And in fact, the creator Alex and his partner George did a fantastic live stream. They talk about all the different engineering that went into creating this because this, this isn't just a normal screen. They had to get a special screen that could be folded hundreds and thousands of times without causing any wrinkles or creases. Then the rear projection, the screen is special for the rear projection because a normal rear projection, having something projecting this close to it would create a very hot spot right in the middle, a super bright area right in the middle. So somehow they solved that issue where you get a nice even spread of the light on the whole screen and everything shows up nice and bright. Speaking of brightness, this projector has 800 nits of brightness. Let's quickly take a look around. You have a bunch of controls on the projector itself. You have your power, you have a volume up and down. This does have speakers built in. You can adjust the brightness of the image up or down, and then I believe this button will rotate the image. Then up here at the top, you have a little slider, and this is to adjust focus. So when you turn it on, if the image is a little bit blurry, you can adjust the focus, fine tune it, and get it exactly how you need it. Fabric has a zipper on it here that zips all the way, and this is how you can take it off if you want to use it as a traditional projector. On the bottom here, you have the vent where the fan is. This does have a fan, but it's not too loud. It's not bad at all. You have a tripod mount here, so you can attach this to a tripod or a light stand, something like that. For the ports on the back, you have a USB type A, a USB type C and an HDMI. When charging the battery or powering it through a wall plug, you use the USB type C. And then finally, there's a little handle here that makes it easy for extending or retracting the screen. And speaking of the screen, the mechanism is pretty ingenious. 
It's very similar to an umbrella where when it's closed, everything folds down and nice and compact. But then when you need to extend the screen, everything, all the arms and mechanisms inside lock in place and hold it nice and securely. As far as compatibility, this will work with anything that you can plug an HDMI into. So that means any kind of computer, any kind of television that has an HDMI out, any type of smartphone. In fact, it comes with adapters for smartphones. I have personally used this connected to both my phone and a laptop, and it works great. I mean, it just basically works as a second screen or an external monitor. All right, let's talk about usage. So obviously the display is going to be great for productivity. Since you can connect this to just about any type of device, you can get a really large screen wherever you need it. And in fact, I recently took this on my Australia trip and I used it in the hotel and was able to get some work done while I was there. And that's one of the main areas that I'm excited about this is being able to get some work done while I travel. I travel a ton and until now I've never been able to work and, and stay productive while I was traveling because even though I have a laptop, the laptop screen is just too small. I just can't use it. There's no way. But now wherever I am, I will have display and I can connect it up and get that much larger 24 inch screen and get some work done. I'm actually looking forward to maybe going to a coffee shop and getting some work done there like everybody else does but I've never been able to do that. I'm sure I will get some funny looks setting this thing up on my table and all that, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm also considering using this on an airplane. <laughs> Talk about getting some funny looks. Can you imagine setting this thing up on your tray table <laughs> on the airplane? You can lean over to your neighbor. So what do you want to watch? <laughs> Cause we're both going to be watching this. And that's something else to talk about. So productivity is fantastic. But I'm also really, really interested in using this for entertainment. Just like you saw at the beginning of the video, I literally, since I was a kid, have not been able to lie in bed and watch television. I just can't do it because I can never get the big screen close enough to me to do that. But now with the display being super portable, having that tripod mount and only weighing 2.5 pounds, I'm finally able to where I can set it up and lay in bed and watch TV or watch a movie. It's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> and because it's so portable, you can do that anywhere, really. You want to sit down on your back patio and watch a movie. You go camping, you want to watch a movie. Or take off the uh, screen here and use it as a more traditional short throw projector. All right, guys, so this is Splay. As always, I will have all the contact information, links to websites where you can purchase. All of that will be in the video description down below. The pricing for Splay is $1,299. Now, I've researched portable displays and that's pretty much on par with smaller displays. You're lucky if you find one less than $1,000. So it seems like a high number, but according to the market, that's actually pretty much on point. However, hopefully you haven't clicked off yet. <laughs> I have secured a promo code for you guys. If at checkout you use the promo code blind life, all capital letters, all one word, all together, blind life, you will get $500 off the price of the splay. That is a huge discount putting the splay at $800. Once again, all of that information will be down in the video description below. A huge thank you to Alex and George for sending this unit out so I could make this video. If you guys have any questions for me, please leave those in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. You can also reach me through my website, theblindlife.net. If you like this video, if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure notifications are set to all so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. And if you don't mind, hit the like button. That helps out the channel as well. Check me out on all the other social medias, including the new podcast, The Blind Life Podcast, available on all major podcast platforms. That's it for this one, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.